Hello everyone, welcome back to Keith's Root in chapter 6. I just noticed that it gives um, a little like summary of the chapter. It says, after obtaining a document from the library, the group shares it with Rosie who makes an herbal tea cure, then an infiltrator sneaks inside. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to this one. Let's see what this one's going to be about today. And then seven, and then ending. Yep, almost done. I'm recording this on Christmas Eve. I'm not sure when it's actually going to be released. It depends if I get time to edit it tomorrow or not. Ah, we're back. After our strange encounter in the library, we managed to return to the medical office. However, you're going to be in trouble with some pirates. <laughs> a couple pirates, yeah. I noticed Rosie and Silva talking in low voices just outside the door to the medical office. Yeah, he's totally in league with them. The situation seems pretty intense. Not wanting to disturb them, Keith and I hid from sight. Hide from sight. I think they missed an they E in there. <laughs> お二人、<笑> I oh, know, I can't hear anything. They're talking so quietly that it's difficult to hear. But I don't think they're just talking about Rosie's injury. <laughs> Keith begins to think deeply with a grim look on his face. It seems like they're done talking, so they'll just rush to walk in our direction. He'll find us hiding at this rate, not wanting to seem suspicious. Keith and I rush from our hiding spot to greet Rosie. That doesn't sound suspicious at all. <laughs> he got hit by surprise. He says he's not dumb. He runs off. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Silva looks startled by her sudden arrival, but he doesn't say anything. As Silva walks away silently, Rosie turns to us and smiles. Hmm. <laughs> Keith doesn't seem to be convinced, but he asked no further questions, and the three of us go back inside the office together. After we get inside, Rosie sits on the chair beside the herbs. He offers both Keith and I a seat in front of him. As they take care of the other patients, some of the nurses glance over at Rosie with worried looks on their faces, but didn't bother us. So, the library was how was it? The book was found? Yes, yes. It was found, but... Anything happened? I didn't say anything to him yet. Yes. In fact... I guess Keith is okay with it. <laughs> As we talk to Rosie about the hidden room that we found in the library, Rosie's face grows stiff. Ryoji でも、船に隠し部屋を作れるような人って言ったら、この船を作った人たちくらいよね。もしかして、セット様やライル様か？でもベルダー公爵もノーディン公も僕たちのように海賊に捕まっているはずだから、あそこにいるとは思えないんだ
もしかして誰かがそこにいたのああうんそうなんだ We continued our story telling Rosie how we were chased as we tried to climb the staircase back to the library. Rosie groans. I can't wait for you to get to the library. I can't wait for you to get to the library. I can't wait for you to get to the library. I can't wait for you to get to the library. I can't wait for you to get to the library. ゴエってまさか海賊のことを言ってる That's odd. The pirates who are trying to sell us as slaves are supposed to be guards. Wait, they didn't say they're going to sell you as slaves. That's just your imagination. あ、うん。他の客室もこの医務室も出入り口に見張りを立てているだろ。Did you hit by his reaction? I wonder if they're I mean, they're probably good pirates and they're probably hijacking the ship to protect them from the bad pirates who want to hijack the ship. That's just a guess, but you never know. Skunak tomo, Kaizokunga, Kakshibiani, Orio, Hakobikonde, Itato, you know, a Kangai Nikushi. Surenara, Arimi, Goe Gavadinima, Narunja, Nai Kato, Motte. He's really just called them guards, so he's not worried of them at all. He has a point, but hold on. How does Rosie know that the pirates are guarding every room? If he's here as an engineer, he wouldn't have known about the guest rooms. Was he locked in one too? And maybe he got involved in something brutal and ended up getting injured. <laughs> and Keith is not that dumb, he knows. So, I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. Keith's suspicious. これは生息地域についてそっちの3冊はハーブについての効能が中心でこっちは味や形について詳しく書かれた本だよへえいろんな角度から集めてもらえて助かるよ早速読んでみるねロジースマイルズ and reaches for the books えっ huh? We're not going to read them together? Rosie opens a book and starts to read at a remarkable speed. Our jaw drops. Wow, he's so fast. Is he even reading it? I'm barely able to process that thought before Rosie has read through all of the books that we brought. <sighs> You're a strange one. <laughs> あうんさっきのキース様の話と効能が一致するのはルーダモンというソルシエのハーブだと思う It seems like he truly read all those books in that short amount of time impressive 本によると甘い花の蜜のような特徴的な香りと味わいで粘膜浄化作用と体内毒素の排出を助ける効能があるらしいそして特筆すべきは組み合わせによる効能の底上げかなルーダモンかとなるとこのラベルのついている瓶だね He takes a bottle labeled Rudamon It's only half full それだけの量だとさすがに患者の全員にまで行き渡らないだろうね他にないのかなそうだね He checks all the labels. He checks the greenhouse too for any fresh herbs. He shakes his head sadly. No luck, it seems. So, I can't wait. 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 Hmm, should we ask the doctor if he has any more? Oh, but he's still resting from the collapse. I look at my keys to ask if he has any, any ideas. I find him looking around curiously. Did he notice something? Keith, what <laughs> did I follow his glance. I see what he means. There are lots of empty bottles around the room. 
いやでもおじさんが飲んでいるところ一度も見たことないわよねそうだねそれなのにどうしてウォッカがこんなにあるんだろうウォッカそうかティンクチャーかティンクチャー乾燥ハーブの水溶性成分と使用性の成分をアルコールで抽出したものを言うんだけどお湯や水では抽出できない成分もアルコールには溶け出すからフレッシュハーブやドライハーブより強い効能が期待できるんだつまりアルコールに浸して抽出液を使えばこれだけのハーブでも十分な効能が期待できて全員に行き渡るかもしれないということ<笑> That's funny. They thought the doctor was just laying around drinking alcohol while you worked on patients. Ah, so no told you. Scroll no niwa, jikanga kakarun da kedone. Demo koredake alcohol gar to you kotoa. Sudeni tincture ga dokoka ni tskrarete ilka mo shirenai. Sore ga areba. Zain ni iki watare. Sagaste miyo. He stands up, determined to search for the tincture. If you look inside various shelves and drawers, finally Keith finds a bottle of Loka that looks like it could be the tincture. Logi, Kore de Atrikana. Masashiku Kore deo. Yeah, Sasuga dane, Keith Samoa. Kono Nakakara, Tekikakuni Mitske Radinante. Oh, he's so happy looking. Saki that the Kono Imus no Arcoroni, Ichiban ni Kizita she Library Karamotik Tekreta Shirio mo Tekikak data. Right, my thoughts exactly. Look at my brother. Isn't he so intelligent? In the library, Keith was the one who found most of the books. I'm so proud of him. Nani Yori, Harbu no Ajio, Oboite, Ita Kyokurukua, Nakanaka Mirarena, Mono that they are. Sono we, Likai mo Hayai. 意外と研究者に向いているかもしれないねよかったらクイードで勉強してみる気はない留学するなら俺が手伝うよ僕が留学 ?What? Keith? Studying abroad? I imagine Keith as a researcher in Quid. I think it might suit him, but I soon realize the implications of that. I'm not smart enough to study abroad. Keith would have to go alone. We wouldn't be able to see each other for a year at least. Maybe more. Yeah, Bokua. Dame d e s Oh. Nesa. <laughs> She spoke up. He's like, oh, sister. <laughs> I jump in frantically without thinking, realizing how ridiculous I sound. I cover my mouth, ashamed. Hold on. I don't have the right to butt in. What's wrong with you, Katarina? I may be his sister, but I can't decide Keith's future for him. He must choose his own path. I'm just getting in the way. Aww. Take back my no. Yeah, but it's not a bad thing. Aww, she sounds sad when she says that. Eto, dochi? Well, yes, but, um, it's complicated. I don't want him to leave, but I can't stop him from going. But also. I thought circle in my head making me dizzy. Keith lets out a small laugh and looks directly at Rosie. せっかくの誘いだけど、留学は考えていないから辞退するよ。いろいろと僕も自分でやりたいことはあるし、ソルシエから離れたくないから。何より大切な人がいるし。Oh, he wants to keep his promise to her. そっか。まあ、気が向いたら考えてみて。俺も他国で世界が広がった経験があるし、得られるものは必ずある。そういう意味で留学は悪くないと思うからさ。もちろん、無事に国に帰れてから考えることだけどね。Right, we must return home first. But even after we return home, I might start to zoom in on my anxieties from earlier today. Even if he doesn't study abroad, Keith and I are destined to separate one day. Siblings can never stay together forever. This is normal. It was the same in my previous life, too. 
studying abroad, moving for work, marriage. Separation happened all the time in my previous life, so I should be used to it by now. Just because we're family doesn't mean we will never separate. I could break off my engagement with Giordo and stay at home forever, but Heath would still have to get married, otherwise the Clay's family lineage would end with us. But... For some reason, every time I imagine Keith getting married to someone else, my heart aches. When we entered the Magic Academy, I swore that I would never get in the way if he ever fell in love with Maria, their protagonist. So, why? Nessa. I stumble backwards, surprised to see Keith so close to my face. As I back away, my brother looks puzzled. But she's not sick. <laughs> Why'd you give it to a sick person? Oh, that makes sense. Rosie is smiling, holding all kinds of test tubes in his hands. He's supposed to be an engineer, but right now he sure does look like a scientist. Those tubes suit him so well. I think the engineer was like a cover-up job just so he can get on board. Because he's probably an important person, obviously, if they call him Lord. Keith and I take our cups of freshly made herbal tea. On the count of three, we lean over to take a sip. <laughs> what in the world just happened? <laughs> it was a bad tea, is that right? What is this? What is Oh my gosh. I've never heard him like this before. He is so upset. It's bitter, sour, and so... Strange it? Strange. I don't even know how to say that word. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Keith. I don't know what the taste lingers on my tongue. Disgusting. てことで飲みやすさを重視して作ったものがこちらです。I don't know if I want any of that. Rosie pours herbal tea from a different teapot into two cups and hands them to us. We look like if we're about to cry. はい、どうぞ。こっちは君たちが飲んでいたものと近い味がすると思うよ。いや、最初からこっちを出してもらいたかったんだけど。he wanted to see you suffer. Keith holds up the cup with a sigh. He looks at it hesitantly, but when he slowly takes a sip, his eyes begin to shine. Mm. Still not trusting Rosie, I nervously drink the tea as Keith urges me to. I recognize the taste. これ、おじさんからもらうハーブティーとかなり近い味がする。よかった。じゃあ早速みんなの分も作るよ。くれぐれもさっきの効率重視の味では作らないようにね。I know what was that even for? I mean, it, it was a pointless test. わかってるよ。あっちの方が効能は高そうなんだけどな。those words are ominous. Rosie walks over to the counter and starts to make more tea. As we finish handing Rosie's fresh herbal tea to all the other patients. <laughs> Nighttime. Most of their symptoms improved in a matter of hours. Yeah, yokata, yokata. Oh, 
そうだねあとは全ての部屋からサシを回収して別の医務室の人にもハーブティーを飲ませることができればいいんだけど He's glances at the door I could tell that he's concerned about getting this done with the pirate guards still micromanaging us えっと海賊の人に聞いてみたらいいんじゃないかしらそうだねでも僕たちの話を信じてもらえるかな医者の話でもないのにああそれなら俺が話をつけておいたよサシャの件はすでに対応してもらっていると思う<笑> I was like, they'll listen to Rosie because、um, he plays a special part with them. Eh, it's no money. Kimi Tachi got library car a kayet the kita coroni, eh? Skunak tomo, ano silba to you stoa, Hanashinga wakaru hitoda kara, sakini it deoitanda. So that's what they were talking about earlier. If Rosie trusts him that much, doesn't that mean Silva can't be an evil person? He seemed really concerned about Rosie's injury. It looked like he was blaming himself. He may be a pirate, but he must be a good person. And finally, after like three chapters, we can finally get out of the infirmary. Ah, wait, two of them. The hair is not going to go. じゃなかった。監視につく海賊を増やしてもらわないと。More pirate guards. 何があるかわからないから。He knows there's someone else bad on the ship besides the pirates. なあ、そうだったね。んねえさん、ライブラリーで見たものを忘れたの ?Oh yeah.Oh right, the cages. いやーそ,そうだったわねでも護衛代わりに見張りを増やしてなんてもらえるのかしら海賊もみんな忙しそうよねもうすぐシルバが顔を出すはずだから彼に言えばいいんじゃないかな船長のシルバなら海賊の配置を把握しているだろうし見張りを増やす権限も持っているだろうからそっかじゃあシルバが来るまでここで待っていた方が良さそうだね。Well, at least Keith doesn't see him as a rival like Giordo did. I mean, he does show an interest in Katarina still, but Keith is like, eh, whatever.、Hmm. It's a pain to have a pirate or two following us around everywhere, but it can't be helped. The ship got taken over by pirates after all. I keep forgetting because I don't feel like a hostage. How did Rosie know Silva was coming here? Did they talk about that earlier? Judging by their looks and personality, it's hard to imagine those two being close friends. I guess they grew to like each other. If you weren't in this terrible situation, I think we'd all be able to be great friends. Oh, wait. If we weren't in this situation, we would never have met Silva in the first place. Where is this ship headed anyway? And wasn't there something else I needed to do? <laughs> Take a nap and gather information? <laughs> Maybe. I try to make full use of my brain, but I really am not good with these kinds of things. Soon I can feel my eyelids droop. You're just gonna fall asleep right there. Ooh. <laughs> She just falls asleep. <laughs> my sister was groaning a very animated way until just a few mo moments ago. But when I look back at her, I notice her sleeping on the chair. It's funny. Shikata naina. Silva isn't here yet anyway. I'll let her rest. I carry sister to an empty bed so she can be more comfortable. Oh, you do. Sister always makes the same dumb, happy face while she sleeps, even during class back at the academy. My affection towards her overflows as I watch her sleep. I poke her soft cheek with my finger. My heart starts to beat loudly, so I quickly pull my hand away. If you get that fluster just by touching her, can't wait to see when he kisses her. 
Is it because we're in the middle of the sea, far away from home and the academy? Is it because of all my rivals I have to deal with? My jealousy is making me act out. She seems so innocent and defenseless when she's sleepy. It makes me want to protect her. I put a blanket over my dear sister, close the curtains around her bed, and step away. <sighs> I was like, whoa, he's really wrapping her up, but I guess that's what all those things are for. I just noticed <laughs> the curtains on the ceiling. <laughs> Rosie gazes at sister through the curtains with tender eyes. Can you see through the curtains? I'm not feeling nervous. So, I know Rosie cares about sister too. Feeling anxious, I try to gently ward him off. Rosie gives me a wry smile. わかってるよ。キース様の気持ちは。俺もただ彼女が大事にされているようで安心しただけだから、そんなに警戒しないでほしいね。そこまで姉さんを大事に思っている人間に対して警戒しないわけがないじゃないか。Hey, but they just met. How do you know what, how, how much he likes her? Maybe he just thinks of her as a friend. For now. It's impressive how Sister has managed to get everyone to like her without even trying. Even people she just met. I don't want anyone else to be near her while she's asleep and vulnerable. Silva is the captain of the Waste Pirates who took over the ship. He's the reason why we're in this mess to begin with. As for Rosie, he's way too knowledgeable to be just an ordinary engineer. He's suspicious. He's very suspicious. Silva <laughs> See, he knows. There could have been a spy that aided the pirates in their takeover. Sister isn't worried about any of that. She genuinely likes them. I worry that she's too defenseless, but that's one of her charms. I hate myself for suspecting them so much, but I can never be too careful. If Sister were to get hurt, I would never forgive myself. Oh yeah, I'd be suspicious of them too, because he's hiding something and it's so obvious. I grip the fold in the curtain. I must be the one to protect her. I wake up, the curtains open, and Keith, Rosie, and Silva appear in front of me. <laughs> huh? Silva is here? Oh right, I dozed off while waiting for him in the medical office. His concerned tone reminds me that the reason why we're in the office in the first place is because he got sick. Keith just recovered, yet we were running for our lives earlier. I'm so careless. I hope he's okay. What if he's actually... Thank goodness. I guess there's nothing to worry about anymore. じゃあ、二人とも気をつけて部屋では必ず鍵を閉めるんだよ。もちろんそうするよ。と言っても海賊たちは合鍵を持っているんでしょうけどね。どうだかな。Yes, and no. どういう意味ですか？何でもねえよ
お前らのお仲間も心配してたからな。I have to admit, it has been nice not having me marry fuss over her all the time. As we exit the office, five pirates are waiting for us. That's a lot of guards. It seems like they're here to escort us back to our room. Well, yeah, there's a suspicious man running around. I whisper to Keith and he nods with a serious face. So, that's it. ライブラリーでのあれは予想外だったってことか何か妙な人たちが潜り込んでいるのかもね You mean like the pirates I saw in my dream? We don't know who we're up against so it's possible my dream was accurate The name of the crew is different but Silva seemed to know the name Maybe Silva's former crew betrayed him If that's the case, they might be on board and trying to attack us all. Oh no. What if the vice captain or somebody else takes Maria away? Alright. He threw cheese into his thoughts, mumbling to himself. I leave all the thinking to him, instead I turn to Silva and speak up. So, そういえば、第二無室のみんなはどんな感じなの？ハーブティーで元気になった？ああ、そうだな。お前らのお手柄だな。どいつもこいつもすっかり元通りだ。部屋から差しも回収したしな。そっか、良かったわ。でもどうして
He has matured more than I ever have. Seeing his growth makes me a little sad. He makes me feel safe in a way that no one else does. I wish I could stay with him forever. Silva <laughs> so suddenly stops walking and turns around. He is glaring at the empty hall gallery. Silva! What did you do? No, no, no. Ooh, saying we're hurrying, let's go. <laughs> Silva walks ahead, urging us to quicken our pace. As we continue to make our way back, he seems to stay alert, casting looks behind us in search of something bad. When Keith and I get back, our friends gather around us. ごめんね、みんな。伝言するのをすっかり忘れていたわ。いえ、大丈夫ですわ。ところどころは風の魔法で状況を把握しておりましたから。That's <laughs> Maybe that's when I dozed off. I feel guilty for falling asleep with my friends who were so worried about me. So that Keith and Goe were more dajovan. Eh, Okake Samade Mina Mucho at the Timasenka. Ah, Tokuni Nantonai. ゲインと疑っていた例の差しも先ほど海賊が来て回収していった海賊といえば語りながいむ室に向かった時と違ってずいぶん物々しい数の海賊に見張られて戻ってきましたが何かあったのですかはい少し気になることがあったんです I don't know how they're going to wrap up their romance in like two chapters. That seems like it's going to be awfully quick. And and they're like, and they still have to talk to Jordo about it too. He thinks about what happened in the library during our search for books about herbs. I guess they don't have to talk to Jordan about it. They could just be like, oh, you talk to Jordan, and he's cool with it. On to the marriage. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's not what I thought she would say. でも陸地に着いたら今まで通りとはいかないはずだよ。そうですね。窓からずっと確認はしていますが、まだ陸地が近づく気配もありませんし、引き続き警戒は怠らない方がいいでしょう。Oh I clench my fist and their faces brighten. With a determined look on her face, Mary grabs my hand. みんな。I can feel myself tearing up. I never want to lose my precious friends. Then I must do my best to gather more information about my dreams to protect them. Please, Atsu, help me. I hop into my bed full of energy. <laughs> I was gonna say, how are you gonna sleep then if you're full of energy? I'm wide awake, perhaps it's because I dozed off earlier. My friends are all fast asleep. I can hear them breathing peacefully. Oh, are we going to meet Keith here in the middle of the night? <laughs> I get up quietly as not to wake them. Then I walk to the living room and look out the window. 
Hmm, Jordan's right. There's no sign of land. It's so foggy and dark outside that I can't see. I touch the window. It's cold. The spot where I lift my finger fogs up and turns white. It must be cold outside. Usually it's too cold to swim in a pool during the season. However, thanks to Sorcerer's brilliant technology, we can still stay warm. Oh, I get it. Nobles from Sorcerer are valuable because we can use magic in these kinds of situations. Someone with fire magic could be used in place of a heater, and someone with wind magic could be used in place of an air conditioner. Magic users would sell for a high price, except for me, who can only use Earth Bump. My friends would be much more valuable. I get chills from something unrelated to the cold air, so I wrap my arms around myself and sit down on the sofa. As I sit in the dark room alone, I feel the waves rock the ship. It hits me once again that we're still in the middle of the open sea. Where is the ship headed? I must find a way to help my friends escape once we arrive on land. Hmm. For everybody who fought Sorcerer's Noble, Silva doesn't seem to know much about magic. I recall Silva looking surprised to know that we were eavesdropping on him using wind magic. If he intended to capture us, I feel like he would have gone done more research on how uh, valuable magic users are. Did they attack us by coincidence? Savoring that thought, I tilt my head curiously. Suddenly, I hear a noise coming from behind me. Yeah, Pari, Nesan ka? He heard you thinking to yourself. Kisu? <laughs> もしかしてキースも眠れないの？いや、僕はそういうわけじゃないけど、それよりねえさん、家でならともかく今はみんなもいるんだし、そんな格好で出てきちゃダメだよ。いや、I <笑> I'm sorry. Oh, I want to say I thought it was fine. Actually, I am kind of curious. Yeah, でもみんな幼馴染だし、平気かと思って。全然大丈夫じゃないよ。むしろ一番危ない相手じゃないか。Rivals? <laughs> Um, so that's probably where it leaves off in here when she says that she's sorry. He's right, so I apologize. Thank <laughs> this it was just my brother. And he's like, ah, okay, I'm not just your brother. <laughs> he's like, still don't think of me as a man. He sighs and places the blanket he was holding over my lap. Ah, this is so warm. Perhaps I was freezing this whole time. It felt nice to feel the warmth and softness of Keith's blanket. その魔力の諸ボイ私と違ってみんなは優秀だからきっと価値も高いんだろうなって思ったら心配になっちゃって。The last thing I want is to be separated from my friends, but I'm not powerful like they are. My magic is so weak, and I'm not a good swordsman either. I'm scared I won't be able to protect anyone. 大丈夫だよ。陸地へ行けば。Oh yeah, I bet he won't. <laughs> Keith's voice is determined and unwavering. He gazes out the window when suddenly his eyes, eyes narrow dubiously. Kiri? Masaka. Are they going to that one island that was in Yordo's route? Keith wraps his arm around himself. It's not until then that I remember he just barely recovered from being sick. De Keith
こんなことしてたらジオルト様たちも起きてきちゃうから He smiles and tucks the blanket around my shoulders. The blanket is warm and I feel safe, but I'm still worried about Keith. I have an idea. She's gonna snuggle with him, isn't she? <laughs> I open the blanket and scoot closer to Keith, wrapping one end of the blanket around his shoulder. If we share the blanket, we'll both be warm. Problem solved. So warm. I feel relieved as I stick close to Keith. I pull my legs closer and smile, feeling satisfied. I'm so comfortable that I feel like I could doze off. <laughs> Keith has covered his face with his hands. <laughs> Then he puts his hands down and looks at me seriously. He grabs my hands. His hands are warm. Ano, Nesa. Boku. It's my idiotic. Kiki can't want to be hoshi. They look so cute together. I love this picture. Hmm? Eh, to. Oka sama ni okorare ru yona koto o suru na te koto yo ne? Chigau yo. 男の前で無防備でいたら何をされても文句を言えないって意味だよ。It's just with you. I mean, are you going to attack her? <laughs> like, come on. He looks at me sorrowfully. I haven't seen him with this expression before. Keith pulls my hand, closing the physical distance between us. 昼にも言ったよね。僕も男なんだ。So close to me that I can see every single one of his eyelashes. His serious expression makes me freeze. Oh, he's right. Keith is a man. I mean, he's always been one, but. こんな時だから我慢しようと思っていたけど姉さんがそんな調子じゃ心配だよいつ誰に奪われるか悪いけども何もないふりはできないよ。姉さん。Keith looks at me wistfully and tenderly, places a hand on my cheek. This feels different from the time I accidentally got in his bed. <laughs> That phrase sounds so funny. <laughs> the closest between us makes my brain stop working. <laughs> I'm supposed to feel embarrassed, but I can't keep my eyes off Keith's, Keith's face. I'm hyper aware of the warmth of his fingers on my cheek. <laughs> What was that? <laughs> oh, I was hoping that he was going to go in. <laughs> I'm going to kiss her, but nope, we got interrupted by like, someone throwing up. <laughs> I don't think it's someone throwing up. I think someone got like knocked out. One of the guards got knocked out, probably. At that moment, Keith and I hear someone's voice just outside the door. Startled, we leap away from each other. That was unexpected. I never knew Keith could make such an expression. I've never seen him look like that. My heart is still racing. I look to my side to see Keith standing, no longer sitting on the sofa and glaring at the door that leads to the gallery. He has his back to me and is holding one arm out in front of me as if to protect me. Kisu! He is super serious. Nesa, sagate! Oh. I look at the direction that Keith is looking. The doorknob turns violently. I thought we would be safe because the door was locked, but. What? Whoever was behind that door managed to get it open. As if the door moved slowly, I started to feel chills run down my spine. Who is it? <laughs> What's going on? I can't see the person who entered the room because of the backlight from the gallery. I suddenly recall the feeling I had every time I passed by the gallery that someone was watching me. 
Nobody was ever there, so I thought it was a ghost. I clean to Keith's arm as the intruder steps forward. The dusky light of the room reveals their identity. Verda Kosaku. Aren't you the suspicious one? <laughs> he just knocked out the guards and opened the door. <laughs> oh, so it's a human after all. <laughs> Thank goodness it wasn't a ghost. I feel completely relieved, but unlike me, Keith doesn't let his guard down in the slightest. No, I wouldn't either. He glares fiercely at Ryle. こんな夜更けにどうしてこの部屋へ来たのですか海賊に捕まっていたはずでは。そんなに怖い顔をしないでください。隙を突いてうまく海賊の元から逃げ出せたのです。ですが、皆様を置いて逃げるわけにはいき
なんて浅はかな王族に手を出して無事でいられるとお思いですか<笑>証拠があれば極刑は免れないでしょうでもそんなものどうとでももみ消せる、oh, really? 海賊さえ襲ってこなければこんな苦労をせずに目的を達成できたというのに<笑>ですがだからといって諦めるつもりはありません wonder if the pirates attacking is like a a stage rescue instead of a wonder if it's a cover up for a rescue maybe they know about him <laughs> So, my husband has this theory that the pirates are working for the first prince of Sorcier, which would be really funny if he is right. But this kind of, I mean, judging by all this, maybe the first prince has always been the protector of his brothers. He's always been looking out for them. If he hired pirates to go and save them, because he knew this guy was going to be a bad guy, that would be really funny. 大丈夫海賊よりもずっと良い境遇の場所へ連れて行きますからさあ私に従いなさい友人方に怪我を負わせたくはないでしょう<笑>侮らないでくださいそんな脅してミスミス従うはずがないでしょう Heath lifts his hand, all the dirt from the pots around the room gathers into, into the form of an arrow that fires directly towards Ryle. <coughs> Did he really just get shot by it? Heath's magical arrow grazes Ryle's arm. Why don't you just make him Jordo? He's got a sword. It grazes his leg next. After a short pause, The earth arrow continues to fire at Ryle rapidly. Keith, you're amazing! <laughs> When Ryle stumbles from the barrage of attacks, the arrow changes into a rope. I'm convinced that it's over, but. Before Keith can tie him with a rope, Ral takes out an automizer and sprays something at Keith. Ooh. Oh my. Keith! Go bang on the door of the men. <laughs> Keith has a hand over his mouth. He looks nauseous and stumbles forward, collapsing to his knees. Oh, might be that drug stuff that were in the rooms. I try to run to him, but he shakes his head and halts me. Die. だから姉さんは下がって力が力ほう今のを食らっても意識が保てているとは随分と強靭な精神を持っていますね。キースに何をしたの？ 何？ サシェに混ぜていたアビムという薬品を吹きつけただけですよ何倍もの濃度ですけれどねサフェンシバオ安心してください混ぜ物もなく即効性がある分あのサシェと違い体調の悪さは現れないはずですよ代わりに立ってはいられなくなるでしょうが That's not fair. ほらもう目を開けてはいられないでしょう素直に意識を手放した方が楽になれますよキースクラエス様キースキースキースキースキースキースキースキースキースキースキースキースキースキースキースキースキースキースキースキースキースキースキースキースキ僕は姉さんを守るって決めてるんだ
Shakily, he lifts his hand again and shoots another earth arrow at Raoul's direction. He, his aim is unsteady. He looks like he could collapse at any second. Raoul throws his cane violently at Keith. Ow. Ora, sassa to akirame tara dou desu ka? Watashi mo muyami ni anata o kizutsuke taku wa nai n desu yo. Chiro has a sword. Like, what are you gonna do? Damare! Boku wa! Oh dear, I must save him. I could go wake my friends, but I can't risk Raoul knocking Keith out and taking him away from me. No, that can't happen. I don't want him to get taken away. I don't want him to get hurt. Because the one who I adore is... The one who I want to stay with the most is... The one I love is you, Keith. Keith! Keith! I take a teacup and throw it around with all my strength. <laughs> it grazes Raoul's arm, crashing into the wall behind him and breaking into pieces. When is the other going to wake up? Like, they're having a battle outside. <laughs> I don't mind. My goal was only to distract him. <laughs> take that. I've been practicing with a toy snake. <laughs> That's funny. Um, Raoul marches towards me with an extremely frightening look on his face. He swings his cane above my head, ready to strike. Nathan! Keith hugs me with both arms. I hear a loud sound as something strikes his back. Oh my gosh. That sounds painful. Keith's face twists in pain. Raoul is behind him, holding the cane in his hand. Keith protected me from Raoul's attack. The other sure to sleep through a lot of breaking class. Rao takes out the automizer again. It points it towards us. Right at that moment, the bedroom door slams open with a bang. It's about time. What happened? When my friends come rushing to the door, it distracts Raul enough for Keith to turn the tables on him. Keith stands up, growls Raul by the collar, and holds him holds something sharp under his chin. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> Keith is holding a fragment of the teacup that I broke earlier. The tip of the fragment sinks slightly into Raoul's throat and a few drops of blood start to seep from the puncture. Raoul's face becomes pale. He trembles, realizing who has the upper hand in the situation. Yeah, <laughs> one cut there and you're gone. <laughs> I like this music. This is a nice change of pace of music. <laughs> He's gonna try to talk his way out of it. What the heck? <laughs> so I was like, oh yeah, <laughs> to enlighten me. What? I turned to notice that Silva's here too. The door to the gallery is wide open, and a large number of pirates rush into the room. Yo, Kisu, you're a little bro. Silva, Mata, Hayaku kite hoshikatta. Aww, is he glad Silva's there? That's cute. Wari na, Kisu kuma kureta. Silva marches forward, grabbing Raoul from Keith. So, Raoul Verda, Omaira no koto o arai zarai hai te morao ka. Silva begins to question Raoul after tying him up with a rope. 
Even though they're pirates, Keith seems relieved that they took over the situation. He collapses. Keith! Aww. Another CG. So many CGs in a chapter. I catch his body before he can collapse onto the ground. Using all of his strength, he looks at me weakly, about to faint any minute. Nesan, Kegawa, Nakata. Ekio, Kiss got Mamma to Kretakara. Kiss got so nice job. Earlier, Rao sprayed a large amount of that highly concentrated chemical called a beam into onto Keith. It only seems like he wanted to knock him out. I don't think it's so poisonous that it would kill him, but as I recall, Keith getting hit by that cane in order to protect me, I feel like I'm about to cry. Keith, I'm flustered, asking him a lot of questions. Keith smiles sadly. そんな顔をさせちゃうなんてね。そっか。よかった。He <笑> smiles at me softly and closes his eyes. In that moment, tears of relief, misery, and a myriad of emotions I cannot name start to well up in my eyes. See, I, <laughs> I, well, I got my thumbnails all mixed up. The last chapter I put don't leave me when I probably should have put like stay with me as far as them, you know, wanting to stay together. This one would have been a better don't leave me, <laughs> but it's whatever. I'll figure something out. Nesa, you're okay. I'm always He's just tired. He seems to be feeling a little hazy. He slowly puts his unsteady hand on my cheek, gently wiping away my tears. Then... Something soft touches my lips. Aww, this is what he did in the anime! <laughs> I like it so much. He kisses her in the anime once they find him beaten and battered <laughs> in, the, in the cell. Huh? <laughs> oh, what you do? Huh? Wait, what? <laughs> he was so. That's funny. <laughs> Wait, that was. I can feel something soft and warm on my lips. I look into Keith's eyes. His extremely hazy but happy face is directly in front of me. Nessa, I'm sorry, but when you say I love you, sister, it's just, uh, it's still weird. I'm sorry. It's still a little weird. Could you just call her by her name? He whispers those words before collapsing into my arms. Aww, poor guy. He's sleeping. That's actually really cute. <laughs> His breath is slow and peaceful, different from the labored breathing from when he was sick. I am relieved by that, at least. I'm relieved, but... I touch my lips with my fingertips, blinking in confusion. I have no idea what just happened, but... That was... Wasn't that my first kiss? <laughs> Not knowing how to react, I cover my face with both hands. To be honest, I didn't hate it. I absolutely didn't hate it, but... I kissed Keith in front of our friends. I'm so afraid to see their reactions that I can't raise my head. Oh dear, what should I do? Didn't he say he loved me? Like, romantically, right? Did I imagine that? 
I only figured out my feelings a few minutes ago. He feels the same way about me. Wait, no. More importantly, is he okay? I need to take him to the doctor right now. Oh, but the doctor's still recovering, isn't he? Then, should I take him to Rosie? How will I be able to carry him in the first place? Man, her mind is just going 90 a minute. <laughs> As I hold onto Keith, he's fast asleep, I start to panic. Oh man, what was that? Suddenly, I sense someone with a murderous intent behind me. Before I can turn around, a knife pierces the air. <laughs> Oh, I thought it was Silva that just threw that, but no, I caught Silva off guard. Dang. With quick reflexes, Silva knocks the knife with his gun, but another knife is thrown just a second after that. Whoa. Was someone aiming to kill him? Oh. <laughs> someone other than Ryle wants Ryle to be, uh, shut up for good. He doesn't talk. The silver knife stabs Rao in the chest, his eyes widen with pain. Oh yeah. I mean, if it's serious enough, you that guys do anything to keep keep silent. I wonder if Sed's in on this too. <gasps> Maria nods and Silver runs out to the room to pursue the culprits. Why did Ryle try to capture us? What was he after? Who was he working with? What else are they plotting? <laughs> so many questions. We would never be able to find the answers to those questions if Ryle died now. So that's why they tried to... Whoever, who would ever do such a horrifying thing? I have a bad feeling about this, but all I can do is stay here, holding onto Keith's unconscious body. Thanks to Maria's light magic, Rao survives the attack, but he remains unconscious. Oh no, that's the end. <laughs> we have to wait till chapter seven. Facing that feeling, huh? <laughs> that's the next chapter. And the final chapter. Something happened finally. I was gonna say, man, this is he's his route is tend to be a little bit more boring compared to Giordo, but it's actually way more intense than Giordo's was. We're not attacking, we're not facing up against the pirates anymore. We're facing up against we're kind of teaming up with the pirates against someone else, which is a lot more exciting, I think. Who knew the pirates were the good guys? I kind of thought they were, but it's whatever. <laughs> Um, we're going to be in chapter 7 now. I don't know if I'll get a recording in tomorrow or not, but definitely the day after Christmas, if not tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoyed and look forward to how this plays out. Uh, if you did like, please leave a thumbs up down below and or subscribe for more content. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.